Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic of Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot as well as Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is your May 2017 Love, Peace and Happiness day, uh, g monthly general tarot daily. Make sure you watch the daily general tarot, daily money tarot and daily romance tarot. There's some information there for you and it was no accident that I spoke those words. So, if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or northern node in your birth chart, then this information has some resonance for you within it. So, words of clarity. What is the word of clarity for Scorpio for May 2017, Love Source God? And these uh, words of clarity decks are available for you to purchase. Each deck is unique and custom to its owner. Each card is a channeled message. And if you purchase one and decide you'd like to add to your deck you can always add more later in the future also these decks are great if you have an artistic hand to uh, continue to enhance them with additional doodles words or whatever you're inspired to on your heart any true artists in the audience will appreciate that so what is the word of clarity for May 2017 for Scorpio you saw how that happened right it says familial the situation has to do with your family with children new is the word at the bottom of the deck this is saying that new situation new circumstances is affecting your family now let's see what the psychic tarot for the heart has to contribute to our message for May 2017 for you tarot for you tarot for you Scorpio oh my goodness gracious okay so I'm hearing that is now is a great time to tell you that any people who want to purchase a personal reading from me uh, I starting now your name will go into a drawing for a free reading one question reading if your name is drawn, there won't be a set schedule for how frequently I do them or when I do them. It will be at my so Love Source God inspiration. And so that is, again, for all of my clients who uh, come to me for personal readings. <clears throat> okay. So what is the message here for Scorpio for May 2017? okay there it is card number three of pentacles is saying reach out the bottom of the deck is refusing to see that is the two of swords i feel that there's an opportunity available for you as far as your physical life is concerned so the people in your life the way way you live the place you live the things you do there's an opportunity for you and your family that you just don't want to acknowledge there's something you don't want to acknowledge but you have all the ha helping hands you need right there for you everything you need is available right there all you gotta do is lift your eyes so you can see it and with the two of swords I'm also getting you know your intuition is calling on you. You've got your intuition banging on the inside of your brain, continually telling you, look at that, look at that, look at that. And you're like, no, I refuse to acknowledge. I will not acknowledge this, what I'm feeling. I will not acknowledge this, what I happen to know with, is, is your truth. And so um, there's a situation here. Now let's see, we're going to use this Radiant Tarot deck now to pull a tarot message. This is in regards to spirituality. We have the devil card. I'd like a clarifier on this card because that just flew right out just like that. Here it is. And the nine of wands. So I see in regards to spirituality, you're dealing with some of your bad habits, addictions, ideas that you are, um, you are under duress in some way, feeling that you just can't do what you want to do, feeling like you're stuck in and you're afraid of being stuck. I feel that for somebody, you're afraid of being stuck in this family situation, in this romance situation, uh, uh, in this new situation. You don't want to let go of the old situation. And so that's really interesting in regards to spirituality. I see that you've been through 
a lot of challenges, a lot of changes, a lot of struggle. And so now you want to be very careful about which way you step, which is part of why you're feeling like, I'm stuck here, I don't want to move forward, I'm afraid to move. Um, also feeling like if I do it a different way, it's not going to work out. I feel that that's something that's coming in for you. Now let's see how this all correlates to your financial flow. What is the message in regards to Scorpio financial flow? I get the Eight of Pentacles flying out for me. And he's saying, you got to continue to be productive. And I see that you are being very productive. What I am seeing, though, is you're uh, not wanting to face these spiritual things and make these spiritual changes that are being called from within you is causing you to have to work harder than necessary to attain to what you are uh, wanting to obtain as far as your financial flow is concerned. However, the beautiful part of it, oh goodness, okay. The beautiful part of it is that you are honing your skills, mastering your skills. And so it's almost like this is different messages I'm feeling for different people. And so, you know, working hard is going to help you to overcome all of these different challenges that you've been dealing with. Um, in regards to romance, that's what these cards were for. Emperor in reverse. We have the judgment and we have the eight of cups. So for some of you, it's an Aries person and there's some challenges there. Uh, an Aries person that is part of this not wanting to see. I feel like the Aries person has something to do with that. Also, I feel that for some of you, this has to do with in regards to authority and being against the authority. But there is some new life coming in that's going to cause you to move forward. So something new is going to happen. Okay, so what I'm hearing is some laws have changed in regards to someone's situation where you had a blockage that had to do with your romance. Oh, okay, I heard it now. This has to do with you. Uh, oh, okay. If you're a gay or lesbian and in regards to romance, you oh, what you really wanted was to be married to this person, but you weren't ever able to. And now you're like, well, you know, they say marriage is legal, but I'm a little bit cautious of if we want to actually go ahead and take that step, not because of us, but because of external influence of this way, that way, the way the job might think, blah, 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 stuff like that. That's very strong here. Um, but I see that with the change of laws, this idea is coming back to life and you will be leaving those old past concerns and worries behind and you will go ahead and move forward into it. I see with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck that overall in your life, what you're not necessarily aware of, but is highly active in your life right now, is quick shifts, quick change, a lot of fast paced action, passionate activity. And so that is energy that's being both directed towards you and coming out through you. And so some of these things is that you, you are in thought over trying to make a decision over with this card here is because of this energy of swift change and uh, new directions in your life. I definitely uh, appreciate and enjoy this reading for you. If you would like a Custom Words of Clarity deck of your own or a personal tarot reading where we answer your own questions, these tarot readings that I do uh, personally for you are always done by donation only. So details as far as that are, are available for you on my website. And I always appreciate the tips and gratuity that you send me for these free readings that I do on your behalf. And I would love to read for you personally or design you a deck for your own use at home. For details on all of that, you can go to my website. It's lphtarot.com. That's lphtarot.com, as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And, of course, me and mine. Until next time.